For some, maintaining physical fitness is just as important as maintaining family fitness. And for the SB family, they strive to meet those goals every single day. So take me back to the beginning. How'd you two meet? Uh, we met, I think the first time we like saw each other was at Wadapalooza in Miami, but we never talked. Lived in the same town. We lived in the same town. And landed up, first time seeing each other was in Florida. We yeah, lived in Maryland. but we didn't talk after that. Like it was years after that. Or, I had my eye, well, I had my eye on you. Yeah. But like at the same point, we had the same, the same hobbies, which was fitness. And for me, that was a career and my hobby and where my friends were at. So that was kind of like everything that I did. So whenever she came in and had that same hobby and like was okay with doing it, like that helped a ton too, because we could just work out together. And that was, mm -hmm. that was awesome. Well, I think honestly, another factor was like, he had been running the gyms and the Mac, and then you were still had this little army idea in the back of your head. And then you're like, well, should I bring this new lady into this army life when I don't even know what to expect when I join the army? So I think that was kind of like teetering, you know, it was that was involved too. Like, um, and so we were just like, whatever, let's do it. So Luke, as a military man, can you tell me how your fitness routine benefited you as a soldier? I think having having that background and having that that base level of fitness um, definitely helps for for times that. <clears throat> maybe I don't have a ton of time to train or maybe we're out in the field or whatever we're doing um, and a PT test comes up or something else comes up. Like, I feel like that base level of fitness gives me like that peace of mind that I, I it's not something that I ever really worry about. I'm not going to lose my mind about a PT test coming up. Um, but for the job itself, I think having that high level of fitness for anybody should be a huge, um, like a huge, cornerstone to kind of being a soldier in general. I, I think it makes you a better teammate. Um, it kind of shows that accountability that you have towards everybody else that's on your team. Um, nobody wants to be be the weak, like the weak link, right? So um, I think fitness is, is as important of a part as um, what your job is in the military. Um, and maybe more so some jobs than others. But um, I know for me that that's, that's a huge uh, a huge piece for me and I, I make it very known to people that are on my on my team or within our units that like hey this is this is important like let's let's get it cruising. Alongside his wife Chelsea, Sergeant Luke Espy temporarily moved to North Carolina for training to advance his career in the Maryland National Guard. Physical fitness is important no doubt but so is family fitness. As a couple how do you two cope with adversity in stressful situations, specifically with Luke being in the military, going away for trainings and, and missions and being separated for a long time? How do you two cope with, with that? Mm, we just do it. I mean, she's, <laughs> she's a rock star when it comes to that. She's never, she never complains. I don't know if either of us really kind of knew yeah. what schedule or training length or what schools were going to look like when we came down here. So, um, I mean, she had all of her friends back home, her job back home, families back home. I mean, that's where I was too. So, um, there's just like no questions like, Hey, let's move down here and let's, let's do this and just like kind of take it as it comes. So she's an absolute rock star with that stuff. She does, um, as much as she can to support me. Um, there's definitely times where I'm super burnout with school. Um, and she'll just pick it up and like take care of extra things around the house or um, be like, hey, like we're gonna go out and get something to eat. You're gonna relax a little bit. Um, and as much as I can, I try to give that back to her um, whenever she's either burnout with work or burnout with training, probably training more these days than anything. But um, I think that's just, part of any relationship is like when you have the ability to do that and to be the like the person of strength in that relationship like step up and do it and then there's other times where especially in my scenario like I don't have a choice and I have to kind of take a step back and be like hey you can you can handle this stuff and you you do every time I think that that's tough for someone 
um, especially me being like a, a business owner for so long, like delegating was always my hardest thing or like letting other people do other things. So um, like having that trust and just knowing that she's going to take care of it and she's going to be okay, like that to me probably makes us stronger than anything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like um, like the first year was hard, but we didn't know what to expect. And of course, we're like very strong people, and our relationship is very like concrete, and we have zero doubts. And like we just feel like sometimes we don't even need to like communicate things. Like we just know we're on the same page. And the first year, we're like, oh, we're gonna be great. Like we're gonna crush it. Like yeah, because we didn't know like what was gonna happen. <laughs> and then like when I didn't talk to him for a month, I was like. This is horrible, like this is so hard. So I think it's like that first year is super hard and then after that you're like, oh, I can handle anything. Like even like at the end of the year when I still like could see him, but he left for like, I don't even know, a month maybe. Um, like it was still hard then because we just moved here. I didn't know anybody. I was like, what do I do with this? my time, you know? And the people here, like everyone picks each other up, which is amazing. So. It, makes, it makes those other times like when you are home more special yeah. so um i think sometimes people take that for granted because they've never like had it taken yeah. away um so maybe not the amount of time but like actually being present with your significant other wife husband whatever um when you are home is something that i take very seriously like if i'm home like i am home like yeah. i am present with you yeah. which I don't think it's a quantity thing, it's right. more of a quality thing. And I think yeah. we've, we've done a really good job of that just because we've kind of, back home it was yeah. all day, yeah. all day, every day, and yeah. then it got taken away. So then it makes it really kind of special when you do have that time. So. so I want to thank you both for sitting down and doing this interview with me and inviting me into not only your lovely home, but your lovely homemade gym as well. And I really appreciate that. And uh, you guys are an awesome couple and I look forward to seeing what you two do in the future. We'll see you at our gym in Maryland.